Conservatives would have liked to be working today to counter the doubling of housing costs this Prime Minister has caused, or the record food price inflation, which has been 36 percent higher in Canada than in the U.S. But unfortunately, the Prime Minister has paralyzed Parliament by refusing your ruling directing his government to turn over evidence in the $400 million green slush fund scandal that the, ver the Auditor General says involves 186 conflicts of interest, wow. with the chair of the fund found guilty. What has he got to hide? Yeah. What are you hiding? And what are you hiding, my friend? What are you hiding, bro? What are you hiding? What's, what's, what's behind the curtain? What are you covering up? The Honorable Leader of the, of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition is not being truthful with Canadians. It is the... Oh, shut up. The RCMP Commissioner himself who said the RCMP's ability to receive and use information obtained through this production order and under the compulsory powers afforded by the Auditor General Act in the course of a criminal investigation could give rise to concerns under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. It is therefore highly unlikely that any information obtained by the RCMP under the motion where privacy interests exist could be used to support a criminal prosecution or further a criminal investigation. Mr. Speaker, let's get this. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This is a $400 million scandal involving Liberal appointees giving millions of dollars to their own companies, and the minister's story is now changing. Yep. Last week, she claimed that the government had given documents to the RCMP. This week, they claim that if they gave documents to the RCMP, it would cause the Charter of Rights to come crashing down. <laughs> it sounds like there's a new story every week to justify paralyzing Parliament to cover up the truth. What is in these documents about this $400 million scandal that the Prime Minister is so afraid of? The Honourable Leader of the, of the Government in the House of Commons. This is a typical witch hunt from the ah, shut up. Leader of the Opposition to go after people who have nothing to do with this. These are files such as personnel files that contain private information of individuals who have nothing to do with what is going on. Mr. Speaker, it is the RCMP and the Auditor General themselves who raise concerns with this motion and it is the government's view that we should send this to committee so that we can get on with the important work of this House and protect the rights of Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. A witch hunt. The ethics commissioner appointed by this government has found the chair of the fund in violation of the law. The auditor general, also appointed by this government, says there were 186 conflicts of interest involving liberal appointees giving millions of dollars to their own companies. $400 million. Potential criminality, according to the main whistleblower in the scandal. Any other employer would ter voluntarily turn over all the evidence to the police if it had been ripped off by its own staff. What is the Prime Minister hiding? Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, if and when the police request that information, it will obviously be handed over because that is proper judicial process. But when it is Parliament that is doing it, this is where Canadians should be concerned, Mr. Speaker. Because when he is going after the rights of other Canadians, it's only a matter of time before his political vendettas come after the rights of all Canadians.